Hello, Linda Israel, and this is the day one of 30 days of thankful. And today's prompt is, who has helped you that you wish to thank? And then I just found this quote that I thought kind of went along with this. The only people with whom you should try to get even are those who have helped you. And that's from John E. Southard. So the person that I wish to thank is my mother-in-law, and I'm going to talk about why while I make a tag for her. So I'll journal in the end of the video. To begin with, I'm going to make a tag that I thought she could use as a bookmark, and I thought I would share with you how I made it. So I've got some a stencil, a scrap of fabric, a page out of a dictionary, and a piece of green paper. Her favorite color is green. My mother-in-law, I've been married to her son for 26, almost 27 years now, is an amazing woman and she has always been supportive of me. I'm just cutting a three inch strip from an eight and a half by 11 inch strip and I'm gonna cut a strip of this dictionary page. I just thought it would be interesting. So I'm gonna cut off some of the top and then I'll just cut a strip. So I married her son and right off the bat, she welcomed me into the family. She has always been supportive of me. For example, I sold home interior um, designs for a long time. That was, I don't even know if they're still in business, but I sold, um, oh, what is it? Candles and framed art and that kind of stuff. And she always bought something. We decorated the office. We decorated her home. We did lots of things that we decorated. And I was just amazed that she would do that for me. When I started selling rubber stamps, she bought rubber stamps from me. Later in life, I sold Tupperware. And so she bought Tupperware from me. I sold candles for a while. She bought candles for me. She's just always been super supportive of me. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that she's always been there um, to lend a helping hand. I think when I needed a down payment for one of the kits of the companies I wanted to sell for, she even paid for half of the kit. That's the kind of generous woman that she was and didn't expect anything from me. She just wanted to support me and I am so thankful for that. So I've cut a piece of this dictionary page which is really fragile and I've laid my stencil over it and I'm going to spray it with a couple colors of titled angels. This is a stencil in my shop. It's called the Moroccan stencil and I'm going to spray brown, Blarney and Hemlock Green on here. So I thought because of her and what she does, I know she likes to read, that I would make a tag or a bookmark that she could use or she may display it somewhere I don't know she's can do whatever she wants with it really and I thought greens all shades of greens are her favorite so I've just basically got an eight and a half long by three inch wide piece of cardstock I've sprayed the dictionary page and now I'm going to adhere it into place and it's going to need a lot of glue because of the fact that it rips very easily. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter of it and add some glue on here and glue it down. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to go to my sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch around and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've gone around this. I've just added a little zigzag stitch and I know I want a stamp on here. So before I do that, I've got the Perfect Crafting Pouch from Scrap Perfect. I have links for things, so if I mention them specifically, I usually have a link in my description box. And I'm just going to take this and rub it over 
the page kind of pouncing it just a little bit and what that's going to do is it's going to take away any stickiness any static electricity because I plan to emboss and I don't want any of that sticking the embossing sticking where it doesn't belong so I've got this stamp set and I don't think this is available anymore, but it is from Inka Dinka Do, and the number was 98624. And I think I'm going to use this long, skinny stamp that says thankful. I've got my Misty, so I'm just going to not knock everything over, I hope. I'm going to place this inside here, put a magnet on it to hold it in place. And I think I want, let's see, thankful. I'm going to put it kind of over on one side, going from top to bottom. Is that what I want to do? Yes, because then I want to put something down here so it looks like thankful, and then you say, see the phrase down there. All right, so I'm just positioning it, and then I'm going to pick it up. And then I've got Versamark ink, and I'm just going to ink this up. That's a wet ink, embossing ink. Um is what you can use. You can use a Versamark. If you've got a pigment ink that's kind of wet and juicy, you can use that. So I'm just pressing that on there. Then I'll remove it. I'll clean my stamp in a little bit. And then I've got some gold glitter embossing powder. So all I'm gonna do is kind of stick that into the embossing powder and tap off the excess so you can kind of see that. And then I'm going to use my heat tool and we're going to heat this up. And you want to heat it up so that it turns uh, solid and it gets rid of the powder, but yet you don't want to cook it to the point that it burns your paper or burns the powder. So it takes it just a couple of minutes. So we'll heat this up. You can start to see it change when it starts to get really shiny. It gets rid of that dull, deeper color. One thing you want to do when you're doing a lot of embossing, you don't want to breathe in the fumes because some of these embossing powders, I've got an old one here, are toxic if you breathe them for a really long time. If you're very sensitive to smells, you may want to wear like a, a mask while you're embossing. I did 150 wedding invitations one year. I did a bunch of thank you cards one year. And I didn't wear a mask. I ended up with a sinus infection. All right, so that says thankful up there. And then I think what I'll do is I've got another stamp here that says for everything. So I'll just get my little block out. And we're going to ink this up. Again with the first mark. Because I want to emboss it as well. And I'm going to put that right about here and we'll heat this one up the same fashion i got a couple of stamps here and i think i just want to fill in and add some stamps on here you know making a gift for someone doesn't have to be super complicated most of the times it's just the thought that counts so i just figured if i did something like this she would just enjoy it and know that I am thinking of her and I am thankful for her. I think, well, I think that I had three stamps out and I think that's good enough. I was going to stamp this other one, but I think I'll pass on that. I've got my Crocodile hole punch. So I'm going to use the large hole and punch at the top of this bookmark. And then I've got some fabric here that I thought I could make a tie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and just snip it a little bit at the top and then I'm gonna rip it. So I give it a nice little distressed look to it. And then we'll fold this in half. Now, if you've ever tried to put fibers through a hole and you just couldn't get them to go through, here is a tip for you. Fold your piece in half, whatever it may be, fibers or ribbon, fabric, and then take another piece of smaller thread and pull that through the hole like so. And then I'll pull out that excess and then pull this through. And that is so much easier 
than trying to fight all those ends and poke them through the hole. What do you think? It's just something simple, just to say I am thankful for everything. And then I'm going to write her a note on the back. So I just wrote, thank you, Barbara, that's my mother-in-law's name. Thank you for all you have done for me over the years. I am grateful for all the support you have given to me. I am blessed to have you for a mother-in-law. I love you. So I'm going to give this to her the next time I see her. And I hope that you'll do the same thing, that whoever the person is that has helped you the most, you wish to thank that you will give them a little note or a card or a tag or take them out for coffee or dinner so here in my journal it is november 1st 2018 and i'm going to write out who helped you that you wish to thank so i'm going to write out her name and then i'm just going to write what it is that i am thankful for her i'm just using a sharpie no bleed pen it doesn't bleed through on the other side, and that's why I like to use it. All right, so I just wrote the question, who has helped you that you wish to thank? I wrote Barbara Israel, my mother-in-law. She has supported me in many endeavors throughout the years, always has encouraging words, and is always ready to help. I'm also, also thankful that she raised an amazing man that became my husband. I can only hope to be like her in my life. So there it is. That was today's prompt. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you like seeing how to make just a quick uh, little bookmark or a tag that you can give to that person that you wish to thank. If they're no longer living, maybe you can just make that bookmark as a reminder so that you can see it to remind you of that person. Thank you so much for watching. Follow along on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon. YouTube. I'm not going to do a video on every page. I'm not sure yet. I don't think I'm going to do a page, a video on every page, but I thought, you know, if you want to follow along, create a quick journal. I have a tutorial on how this journal was made. I also have a flip through so you can just look at it. You can even start late in the month. So even if you're only watching this video halfway through the month, go ahead and go back and think about the different days and write out the different journal prompts. My hope is that you will journal, journal in these things that we're creating. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Check the description box below below for links to all my social media connectors, Facebook groups, and whatnot. And share this video if you liked it, if you feel that this is something that can inspire other people. I hope that you will comment below about who you're thankful for in your life. And let me know if you're following along to let me know what you think of this whole process. Maybe tell me what you think of the little bookmark that I made. Again, thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Lots of love to you. Have a great day. Bye!